The Church wishes to thank the Most Holy Trinity for the mystery of woman, and for every woman, for the great works of God which in the history of human generations have been accomplished in her and through her. This is what Pope John Paul II wrote in his apostolic letter Mulieris Dignitatem, words that echo in the inscription at the base of the dome in the shrine of Magdala on the Sea of Galilee. Este atrio que llamamos el atrio de las mujeres. El atrio de las mujeres porque We call this space the women's atrium because the columns bear the names of the women who accompanied Jesus. We are located in Migdal, which is a variation of Magdala. The idea was to make a center for pilgrims here, and with that intent the land was bought. But in the preparation of the site we discovered an important part of the ancient city of Magdala. These are ruins from the time of Jesus Christ. Parte importante de la antigua ciudad de Magdala son ruinas del tiempo de Jesucristo. Magdala, according to tradition, is the city from which came the one who witnessed the crucifixion and was the first to see the risen Jesus, Mary Magdalene. The eighth annual women's conference sponsored by the Magdalena Institute was held here. Well, the women's encounter here in Magdala is actually something that we've had since 2015. And so our brochure has the different topics we've been covering for the past years. And Magdala is a place where women are, in a very special way, they're treated specially. They're, this is a place for women. And so the idea is to take um, an event which is a worldwide event, which is March is Women's Month, they have an International Women's Day, and to bring it down to a Christian perspective, but in the dialogue with what Magdala is. Upon arrival, each guest received flowers to put on their heads or keep as a reminder of the event, which this year had a theme of music. But looking for something which is universal, which is music, it's a universal language which um, brings people to wonder. You know, it, it helps us, you know, not just to take, only take a deep breath and to enjoy the beauty, but to look up to the Lord. And so that's one of the reasons why we chose music, because as it says in the title, it's one of the pathways to God. Beauty is one of his attributes, and so music itself is beautiful and universal. Sisters from the Institute Servants of the Lord and the Virgin of Matara spoke about how music contributes to their mission in Gaza. Eh, bueno, nosotros pertenecemos al Instituto Servidoras del Señor y de la Virgen de Matara. Estamos en Tierra Santa hace 26 años. We have been in the Holy Land for 26 years. We were invited to participate in this conference along with the missionary sisters in Gaza. It's really nice for us to be able to give testimony of our mission and what can be done in such a complicated place like Gaza. Y por eso es algo muy hermoso para nosotros poder dar testimonio de nuestra misión y de lo que se puede hacer en un lugar tan difícil como es Gaza. Participants delved into the topic with talks, but also got to showcase their talents. I take part with joy in this event. I sing the Lord's Prayer in Aramaic. It is very nice for me to participate in this meeting. Ha sido muy bonito para mí poder estar y participar en este encuentro. For this beautiful invitation that I received to participate in this lovely weekend and this lovely Shabbat. So together with the scenery and the liturgy and uh, bringing in together people from different faiths and women actually from different faiths.